right, so y'all want to know what it's like. Uh, 6 a.m. EST. Um, I'm not a couple of my roosters. Stars and the moon are still out. Hanging out my solar lights. Uh, that This is so the dogs can move around at night and see. Uh, so their lights, I don't spend any electricity on either. They're solar, they charge. I hang them up on the side of my building. And uh, when the sun comes up, they will charge up for the night. And these glow lights are on all night, so when the dogs uh, need to get up, get water, or they hear anything moving around, um, in any building that I'm in, uh, at night they can see it and uh, kill it. Um, so that's that. Now, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to get those young uh, roosters started for the morning. So, in here, you see I storage food in the cans and stuff like that. Because uh, I don't want critters and stuff getting in here. I have a lot of um, garlic in here, believe it or not, that I grew. And it actually keeps a lot of pest out of here. If I just leave the garlic in here, um, curing and drying and stuff. So I have to dry out a lot of watermelon seeds um, and okra seeds and stuff like that from stuff I just harvested and sold. Uh, Give me a second so I get this together and I'll get right back with you. All right, so morning feed consists of a dry, dry feed uh, there, which is all grains. Add some oyster shells in there uh, for the calcium. Here I have another dry pellet and another dry pellet. Okay, and I've added, like, I have a small bit of uh, cheap, whatever store brand, uh, long grain rice short grain rice it doesn't matter um i grab any rice grains any grains that are on sale at the store usually store brand when they start to overstock and uh i'll buy that stuff uh, real cheap and it supplements uh the chicken's food but i really got the rice grain for the peeps um because they can't I swallow those large uh, pellets and kibble and stuff like that. So, being as though they came here unexpected, I've had four roosters, no, five roosters, and one hen. She's up in the tree, if you can see her there. I made sure she went up the tree. There she is. Put her in the tree because I didn't want her on the ground. The roosters can handle themselves out here on the ground. So she's up the tree, and uh, let me get them started because I'll have to uh, go uh, pump some water for all of them out of the wells real soon. Um, but I'd just like to show y'all, they actually started this at 4.30 in the morning. Um, but that's normal anywhere from around 3 to um, sunrise. It's just like after 6 now. But... It depends on if they get agitated or not. So, just try to show you guys my typical morning. And I'm out here at night um, settling them down for the evening and everything else and giving them their night feeding. So, their day feeding consists of uh, crops and grasses that are cut here, which are fresh. They also uh, scavenge for bugs. And their morning feeding is what I show you here. And then the night feeding or um, when I show you guys how I do the fermented foods in the bucket. So that's what they get at night, usually. All right, y'all. So that's my schedule every day, regardless of whatever else I do. That That's like a given. I'm going to do that every day. So days when y'all see I'm real tired out and whatnot, um, it's because of that. So there go my new hen uh, and my two new roosters in there. And uh, I'm getting ready to let the wild bunch out over here.
So there's the fermented food there for this evening. I'm gonna let the wild bunch out over here. And I locked three hens in here uh, last night with two roosters. So here come big mama, my big hen right there. That's the hen. Just so you know, so um Ain't she pretty? She's fluffing up for me. Let me get everybody fed, situated for the morning, guys, because uh, I have a long morning. I will see y'all all later on in the day. Love, peace, and happiness.